Thank you. I don't know what I would be considered in a comedy class. Um, I do like to host though, but I'm not hosting. I'm hosting my own set. I'm hosting a set. This is a set. S-E-T. Set. The card game. Card game set. Card game set. Uh, you ever choke on an artichoke? Um, I thought this was funny. I don't know if it's funny. It might not be funny. I was hanging up art when I was really high and I held a hammer between my legs for like easy access with the handle sticking out. But I also like to pretend I have a penis sometimes. <laughs> like an extra penis. Um, candy. When I was a kid, I, I really didn't like to go to the bathroom to pee. Um, or I like to be accompanied, I guess. Accompanied, pee, accompanied, whatever. My mom would start bribing me with candy to go to the bath. Every time I went, or maybe I had a pee pants problem. A pee pee pants. Anyway, she was like, I'll give you candy if you go pee in the bathroom. So I would go pee a little bit, just like not all the way. And then I'd go back at candy and I'd do it a few times. I started scamming my mom for candy. Actually, one time my baby teeth didn't come out like that quick and they wanted to, anyways, orthodontia. My mom bribed me with Game Boy games to make me lose my teeth. Anyways, I don't, that's, that was just off my head, that part. I did take a labyrinth class, and I've also taken a mime class, and I've dropped out of both of them. I got out of the box, both boxes. Found myself, found my way out of a, 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 a maze. My mime teacher was like, why are you quitting? Um, what is a winery? Is that where, like, people complain a lot? Is that, is that what... And what is childhood? Is that a winery? Is that, is childhood ice cream? Is that what child, you ever have wine on ice cream? Maybe, <laughs> port? Anybody have port? Going to a port? Um, I have all of Jamie Oliver's cookbooks. That's a joke, that's a... Uh, <clears throat> You ever get in your car and you just look through all of your contacts in your phone to figure out who you to call or text? I call it car locked. It's like couch lock. It's a very, I used to be on Twitter. I used to go on, I'm still on Twitter. I used to steal uh, Mitch Hedberg jokes and I still steal Mitch Hedberg <laughs> premises. I used to be told not to eat toothpaste and then I would reverse psychology. I'd eat toothpaste. I'd eat not good for your bowels. When, you don't, when you're a picky eater and then you eat toothpaste. One time I pooped in a Thai restaurant in a hotel. Three stars. That was what I'd rate my poop, okay. <laughs> hey, it's good to be here, Enumclaw. That's a joke about being in the wrong place. <laughs> what is a bender? Is that, a, is that yoga? Is that like stretching? <laughs> What's the difference between a McDonald's and a frat house? <laughs> One has a ping pong ball pit. I didn't phrase that correctly, but you get it. You ever do marijuana on weed? It'd be a shame if I bombed up here. Something, it'd be a shame something might happen to my family. Or something like that. If you or a loved one has experienced bombing, please call. One time I tried to swallow a chewable vitamin C and then I threw up for like eight minutes. You ever touch grass with your feet though? With your bare feet? I always imagine touching grass with my hands, but I think you connect to the earth. Dead ass on God, for real, for real, no cap sheesh. This is just me reading off of this stuff. This is just, I can't even. Of course I'm a comedian. My parents are divorced. <laughs> of course I'm a lazy writer. I'm a comedian. Sometimes I eat a bagel for breakfast. I'm a comedian. This is like a TikTok. I have, I, I have to have a day job to support my avocation. I'm a comedian. Um, they mostly come at night, mostly. It's an alien reference. Um, when I was, uh, I don't know, I, I, one time I parked at my school with my friend off hours and I was trying to smoke weed with my friend and a cop came up to us and was like, this is a school property. 
why are you here? What are you doing? And I said, officer, we're just making out. And he said, thank you for telling the truth. A lot of people lie to me. We, we were not making out. It was a good lie. It was, of course I'm a liar. What? Yeah, thank you. I could write fan fiction for myself. And just fan, just nonfiction, fan nonfiction. I'm not a horrible person, but... I'm not a plastic surgeon, but... Lift. I'm not Sir Mix-a-Lot, but... I like. I'm not Borat. Okay. If this was a set, if this set was in California, I'd have to warn you that, um... It may cause cancer. And I've never been to a rodeo, just to let you know. I think we should abolish zoos. That's just a little bit of truth, a little truth bomb. Good to be here, Massachusetts. You ever uh, deliver packages for Amazon and your van that you live in, and then you deliver one to your mom's house, but that's your home address, and so you don't really have to deliver it because you live in your van? Just me? That one, that one was for me, I guess. I filled, up my I filled up my car with gas, and it was like $700. The interior of my car can hold a lot of gasoline. And you don't need an air freshener. You ever lay in uh, my bed alone? You ever lay alone in my bed? You ever just lay alone in my bed when I'm gone? You ever just, the keys, latch key. You ever have a latch key person that you allocate your key to? You know, I delivered pizza for 13 years. Um, I had a lot of heated exchanges. I think uh, delivering pizza in the winter time is like hell mode if um, pizza delivery was a video game. Video game joke. I did see a dead body one time on a delivery and then I went back and was like, manager, I saw a dead body. And then they were like, keep delivering pizza. Do your job. <laughs> no empathy. Now that, now that manager is dead. She taught me how to mop. Okay. I could move the mic stand or I could not move the mic stand or I could pretend the mic stand was in my way. I could, um, uh, here I wrote some notes about a, a hack comedian, um, but now I don't want to do it. Maybe I should do it. Maybe I'll do it. So I'm divorced and, um, the thing about my girlfriend the other day, politics are weird. Uh, my friend said, sports are crazy, right? I'm not here to do comedy, I just lost fantasy football. Uh, my, I'm actually here for my online date. Uh, one time I blacked out and smoked weed and distributed my grandma's ashes and drank tequila and jumped off a boat, threw up in a Lululemon parking lot. <laughs> Once upon a dark and stormy set list. <laughs> Let me tell you about the time I learned not to eat chocolate in bed. Uh, why do we like self-destructive behavior? You ever job shadow to shadow? Uh, you ever eat dinner? You ever try to do something? You ever use a hose? <laughs> Hoses be like, you ever watch a pet for a friend? Friends be like, pros and cons, am I right? So the Seattle Freeze, let's talk about the Seattle Freeze. I love um, sarcasm. I'm so sarcastic. How sarcastic. Can I be? That's just concerning. Um, I did get tipped $100 from a pizza delivery once. And I wrote down the customer's name. Gavels be like, hashtag judges. Um, 
I like nectarines. Nectarines are a stone fruit. Like every nectarine tastes a little bit different. Like I think stone, like pits, stone fruit pits are like bones. Like maybe every rib tastes different. It's like we're stone fruits. We're humans are stone fruits. I thought, I used to think that my beard cycles were like beard moons, like every time I have a full beard moon, it's when my beard is full, and a new beard moon is when I shave my face. But I can't decide how, what makes me have a new beard moon. I can't, it's inconsistent. Music is subjective. Um, I do live in a basement. I live with my landlord's grandchildren. I live with my sister's kids. I live with my sister's sister's kids. I live with my mom's ex-husband's sons. I am my mom's ex-husband's son. I am, I am my mom, my mom's husband. My mom's husband's son. I. My dad's starter wife is my mom. And when he moved out, he was like, no more animals. You take the cats. You take the cats. So I, had, I used to have cats one time. I, had, I used to sleep with pussy. I slept with a lot of of age pussy. I was, and then it died. My dead cat, my said, I have no grandparents. My parents got divorced. I started comedy. I haven't, I've stopped comedy. I started, I, um, thank you. I'm proposing to this whole room. We're, this is not a hostage situation. The doors are unlocked. You may leave, you may stay. Um, the raffle numbers. If you want to go to your coat check, there isn't one. Um, the, the thing about, um, I used to, I, didn't, I also didn't tie my shoes for a long time. I didn't learn how to tie my shoes. So um, my parents teased me, Robbie, you're gonna have to get a girlfriend to tie your shoes eventually. And I'm like, guys, I'm like five. <laughs> so anyways, is anybody single and know how to tie shoes here? <laughs> you can talk to me <laughs> after the show. I, um, Thank you. If you want to see me this weekend, I'll be on Discord. I'll be on my Discord. Oh yeah, um, I dated, I didn't, well I don't know if I dated somebody, but... Um, what if you're like going, okay, what if you're performing fellatio and the whole alphabet joke, but the person's Russian, so you have to do the Russian alphabet? Is that what you have to do? What if the person is deaf? What if you're going down on somebody who's deaf and, um, or it's cunnilingus, not fellatio. What's the difference between cunnilingus and fellatio? But uh, anyways, there's a joke about the, um, the American Sign Language fingerspelling alphabet and hand jobs. That's all I'm getting at. I've been Robbie Schrader, thank you.